Hi, this project is the demonstration of HR system for candidate ranking. Uh, this system will enable the HR de departments to determine most important requirement like experience and skills. System will rank the requirement for particular job. System will shortlist the CVs based on the experience and the other key skills which are required for particular job profile. The system will help the human resource department to select the right candidate for a particular job profile which in turn provide expert workforce for the organization. Let's see how the system works. Uh, these are the two logins. One is the admin and the other one is HR login. Uh, let's log into the admin. Admin will uh, register himself by clicking onto the sign, sign up button which is shown over here. Once he clicks to the sign up button, if it is an if the admin is a new member, he must register himself by specifying the company name, his name, contact number, email ID, and the username and the password. Once he clicks the submit button, these details will be stored in the database. As I register myself, so I will use the admin login. I have the ID and the password, so let's enter the ID and the password. So once the admin clicks to the login button, he will be redirected uh, to a add requirement page. Uh, so these are the models you can access. So let's see the add requirement page. Over here, the job ID will be generated by the system. Uh, he must specify the designation salary and the place where the person will be placed. So let's enter the job details, basic requirements and the technical requirements. So let's enter the job profile. Uh, job ID and the designation let's enter the salary which will be in per annum and the place where the person will be placed once he clicks the submit button these details will be stored and the basic requirement module will be enabled so you must specify the qualification and the experience and if we want to specify more number of fields you can do so by entering the uh, field name and the value name over here and if you want to en enter more number of fields you must click on to the add more fields and this more fields will be added so let's enter the qualification and the experience so once he clicks the add more buttons or the submit button so it will be visible over here and you can specify the company technical requirement if suppose uh, the field name is language and the required value is java so if you want to add more number of fields you can do so by clicking on to the add more fields so i'm name only one field one requirement only i need so the language in the java entered and uh, i will click on to the submit button as you can see, uh, the details are stored in the database. It had been successfully added into the database. The message had been uh, shown over here. So let's see the next model that is upload CV. Over here, the applicant CV will be uploaded by the admin. He must specify the requirement ID. Based on the requirement ID, he must upload uh, the CVs. So let's uh, select the CV. So these two CVs I am uploading. So you can select multiple CVs and once you click to the upload button, these details will be stored and message has had been shown over here. Let's see the next model that is add HR details over here. The admin must specify the HR details, uh, his name, contact number, email ID and the company name. Once you click the submit button, uh, the email ID and the password will be sent to particular HR email ID. So we can access the HR login module via entering the email ID and the password. So let's see the next module that is view HR details. Over here, admin can view the HR details, his name, contact number, email ID and the company name. If you want to remove any of the HR details, you can do so by clicking on to the remove button which is shown over here. Once he clicks the remove button, this particular details of particular HR will be removed from the database. So this is how the admin module works. Let's see the next module that is the HR login. Over here, 
the HR must specify the ID, email ID and the password in order to log into the system and you must enter the password which which is sent to his email ID so once he clicks on to the login button these are the various models you can access one is the so let's see the view requirement details over here you must select any of the requirement ID and you can view the requirement details so what are the requirements a particular requirement ID has you can view that details and let's see the next model that is shortlist CV in shortlist CV the here we have used a fuzzy logic algorithm neuro fuzzy logic algorithm where uh, the CVs are shortlisted uh, based on the weightage uh, pro provided for each requirement so here the, uh, the HR must select the requirement ID and the requirement these are the requirements the particular requirement ID contains and for each requirement uh, the HR must specify must set set priority so over here for this requirement he must set a particular priority and he must click the next button he should do so for the for next few requirements for each requirements So once he clicks the submit button, here the scan CV button will be visible and you must click on to the scan CV button. The algorithm will shortlist the qualified resumes and it will be shown over here and HR can uh, view this uh, CVs by clicking on to the particular CV. Let's see the next module that is the view profile. Over here in view profile, the HR can view his personal details, it's the company name, HR name, the contact number, and the email ID. Let's see the next module that is change password. Over here, the HR must specify his old password if suppose I'm entering a wrong password. And once the HR clicks this change password, he will system will display an error message it is an invalid password so the he must specify old he must specify right old password so let's enter the right old password and once he clicks the change password he must specify his new password as well as the confirm password and once he clicks the update button these details will be updated in uh, database and password will be updated. So this is how HR login module works. This is how HR system for candidate ranking works. Thank you.